Today, I'll be giving you guys my top five reasons on why you should buy the S21 Ultra in 2022. Let's jump in. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Aaron and I do a lot of mobile and PC related tech reviews here on this channel. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, please support the channel by subscribing and also liking the video as well. That way I can put out more content for you guys. So about 10 years ago, while all my friends were riding the iPhone wagon, including myself, I decided to move on from the iPhone and get my first Samsung device. And that was the Samsung Galaxy S4. And it was that time where I truly became a fan of the lineup. Now, fast forward 10 years later, my current daily driver is the S22 Ultra. And while I can safely say it is a fantastic phone, you should not overlook its predecessor, and that is the S21 Ultra. And although the S21 Ultra is not the latest Galaxy device you can buy, the S21 Ultra is one of the best Galaxy devices that you can buy. So today, I'll be giving you guys my top five reasons on why you should still buy the S21 Ultra in 2022. But before we get started, just a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you learn and develop new skills. Whether you're into technology, photography, or even just self-development, Skillshare is filled with inspiring videos to boost your creativity. Some of my favorite classes include YouTube Success taught by Marcus Brownlee, who has been a huge influence in the tech world, and also Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass, which has helped me tremendously on how to stay organized and be productive on a daily basis. The best part about Skillshare is that they're constantly launching new premium classes each week and all their videos are ad-free. So Skillshare is actually hooking up the first 1,000 people to a free month of Skillshare just by clicking the link in the description below. Absolutely an amazing value, a full month to improve your knowledge and discover new skills completely for free. So don't wait to expand your knowledge and take the next step in your creative journey. Now the first reason on why you should buy the S21 Ultra in 2022 is that the phone is very well-rounded. To give you an example, think about like an MMA or a UFC fighter. There are fighters that are really good at wrestling, but lack in striking. There are fighters that are really good at striking, but lack in wrestling. There are fighters that have crazy knockout power, but lack speed, and so on. And the S21 Ultra is just like one of those fighters that, although they don't specialize in just one thing, they're very good at everything. And that's what the S21 Ultra is. It is very good at everything. It has power, it has speed, it has stamina, AKA the battery life, it has a good camera, and plus on top of all that, it looks good. The S21 Ultra just checks all the boxes and it does everything that you want it to do and it does it very well. Now the second reason is the design and build quality. And I'll put this in the look and feel department. To me, the S21 Ultra is one of the best looking phones ever. Does it look better than the Note 10 Plus? Eh, I don't know about that, but I definitely think it looks better than the new S22 Ultra. The matte finish is one of the best I've seen on a phone and as a matter of fact, it's a two-tone matte finish. It's clean, it's elegant, and it's badass all at the same time. Now, what about the feel? The S21 Ultra is pretty massive, but it's not that massive. The S20 Ultra, which was released prior to this phone, was much larger than this, and in my opinion, was just a little too big. And although the S21 Ultra did gain a little weight, it feels much nicer to hold and much easier to use with one hand. And speaking of holding, the materials used on this phone just feel top notch. It has a beefy metal frame that gives you this confidence every time you grab the phone. And although it is a bit on the heavier side, the S21 Ultra just feels tough, durable, all without sacrificing too much comfort. I personally don't like the direction that a lot of flagships are going these days. I mean, the phones are getting bigger, they're getting heavier, they're getting bulkier. But if you look at what's inside the phone, then you know it's all for good reason. Which brings me to my next point, the performance. Technically, it's not the newest Galaxy, but it is still immensely powerful. And I'm talking about the Snapdragon processor. Unfortunately, I have no experience with the Exynos version, so I can't really speak on how well that chipset is holding up. But what I can tell you is that the Snapdragon 888 in the S21 Ultra is still very powerful and still very strong. The S21 Ultra is still more than capable and it has more than enough power for about 99% of you out there. There's 12 gigs of RAM across the board However, if you choose to opt for the 512 gigs of storage, that'll bump you up to 16 gigs of RAM, which I think is a bit of an overkill. The Snapdragon paired with the 120 Hz display just gives you a very satisfying experience. And while I'm not much of a mobile gamer, 
Throughout my testing, my experience has been very smooth. No stutters, no lag, and honestly, I can hardly tell the difference between the S21 Ultra and the S22 Ultra when it comes to gaming performance. The fourth reason is of course the camera. The camera on the S21 Ultra was arguably one of the best cameras on a smartphone just last year, and I still think it is today. I also did a camera comparison between the S21 Ultra and the S22 Ultra, so if you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. So the main camera is a wide camera with a 108 megapixel sensor and is one of the main reasons why this camera is so intriguing. It produces a great amount of detail, which exceeded my expectations during my testing. You also have the ability to do a 100 times zoom, which I think is unnecessary, but it is just insane that this small sensor has the ability to do that. If you're into selfies, the front camera is a 40 megapixel camera that is more than enough for your social media activities. You also have the ability to shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second, and here's an example of what that looks like. Even though this video is rendered at 1080p on YouTube, you can clearly see the detail and overall smoothness of this example. Not to mention, you can also shoot 8K videos at 30 frames per second, but you're going to eat up a lot of storage and it's just not that relevant yet. But either way, being able to shoot in 8K just shows you how powerful this camera is. And the fifth and final reason is the price. And depending on your location, you can find the S21 Ultra anywhere between six to $700, which I think is a complete steal. And guys, I can't stress this enough, but with everything going up these days, like gas, groceries, your utility bills, I don't think it's necessary to pay over $1,200 for a brand new flagship when you can save several hundred dollars on an S21 Ultra that can still compete with the latest flagships. And trust me guys, I currently have an S22 Ultra as my daily driver. But if you were to take that phone away from me and I needed a phone right now, I would easily take the S21 Ultra and pocket the extra cash, especially in these crazy times. A year and a half is not that old guys and it's still a fairly new device. So if you can find one at a good price, I'd take it and run. All right guys, that was my top five reasons on why you should buy the S21 Ultra in 2022. I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys do have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also please support the channel by subscribing and liking the video as well. I'll always appreciate your guys' support. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.